In our health alert tonight, a new drug has been approved by the FDA for patients with treatment resistant depression. The drug is called esketamine. It's a chemical cousin to an illegal club drug called Special K or ketamine. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, is here now with more on how this groundbreaking new nasal spray works. Doctor? Well, Anu, first of all, this new treatment could be a lifesaver for millions of Americans struggling with major depressive disorder, which can be crippling. Now, the drug is going to be sold as Spravato, and it is a nasal spray. The company that makes it says it likely works by helping to restore connections between brain cells, and it works super fast. In fact, in one controlled clinical study, Spravato shows a significant effect on the severity of depression when compared to placebo, and this effect was seen as early as two days. Surprisingly, some patients even reported feeling better within hours. Now, this is super impressive given that antidepressants can take weeks to work. All right, Doc, so the drug is going to have a black box warning on it. Do we know why? Can you explain? Well, Alan has mentioned it's a cousin to ketamine, and that's a very powerful anesthetic with potential serious side effects like suicidal thoughts and behaviors. And because of these and the possibility of abuse and misuse, Spravato will only be administered in a medical setting under the supervision of an approved healthcare provider. So patients will not be able to take the nasal spray home with them. But I think it's good. There are other side effects to be aware of, which is dizziness, anxiety, vomiting, increased blood pressure, the feeling of being drunk, and the possibility of feeling disconnected from your body and mind. So serious stuff there. So doctor, how would someone know if they'd be a candidate for this new drug? And when you have treatment resistant depression, it means that the standard treatments are just not enough. So you could be a candidate if you've tried two other medications for depression and that have not really helped. But I'd like to point out that this drug is relatively new and that means there's a lot still that we don't know about its long-term use. However, here's the thing, for those who have treatment resistant depression, this drug could offer new hope and could be a real game changer for me. For patients who've had depression and suffered, this could be revolutionary for them. Yeah, pretty fascinating for sure. All right, Doc, thank you. You're welcome. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.